my interest is in making sure that you know, all this flooding that we see and something can be done about it. So that's the basis of the reason why I'm here. Delta native Roy Rucker drove five hours from Texas to support hundreds of his South Delta neighbors for a listening session with Senator Roger Wicker, Senator Benny Thompson, and other U.S. officials. Many folks describe their lives as living in constant fear, floods, and waiting for their promised saving grace, the pumps. Those who want the pumps passed out literature at the meeting to counter arguments made against them. Do you think the pumps are going to be effective? Um, from my general opinion, I, I hope so, that yeah. they're fixed. Uh, but I think there are some other things that are in place where uh, usage of pumps can be mitigated. Rutgers optimistic, but others say the pumps benefit rich farmers more than the poor along the Azul. There will still be flooding even after we have the pumps. That's from your subcommittee hearing, and the Corps of Engineers said the same thing. But supporters think that the percentage of flooding the pumps could prevent is worth the investment. Pump advocates claim the pumps can lower the flood potential by 17 percent, preventing the kind of flooding along the Yazoo seen in 2019. Although Rucker doesn't fully agree with pump supporters, he says he's for a solution that benefits everybody. Uh, a bigger reason why I'm here is to make sure that I support those who, who are really concerned about the communities and the communities that surround this area. He hosts this listening session and catered meal from Robert Jackson Enterprises gave both sides a chance to break bread together and find common higher ground to solve the soggy problems along the Yazoo. Sakina Butts, Delta News.